We can do anything in a basement, from making simple rec rooms, if you need big closets, walk-in closets, towel closets or whatever, to theater rooms, you know, to bathrooms, whether it's a half bath, a full bath, to parents' homes. From that to laundry rooms, we have products that are bright wall, that are just simple white sheets that are put up on the wall, but it looks so much better than the, the painted walls and stuff right. like that. To Zen wall, which gives you a little bit more of a finished, unfinished look, if you want to call it that. To thermal dry walls, which are more for an energy efficient type of a vapor barrier all the way up to our TVF panels, which, you know, at that point, you're building homes. We're putting appropriate materials in the appropriate space. You wouldn't put bright wall in somebody's bedroom upstairs. It just wouldn't make any sense. Just like you wouldn't put materials from upstairs in a place that you know can get moldy and mildewy. It's not just a matter of if your basement's gonna leak, it's normally when. Say that you have triple safe, so you don't have to worry about the power right. going out, but you still have to worry about the rest of Murphy's Law. You still have your plumbing and everything else. All the water starts flowing down the pipe, so you have to really pay attention to the materials you're gonna use because you don't want them to be made of something that mold can grow on. The sheet rock's two pieces of paper with basically some rock between it. If you're using paper as a vapor barrier, you've got pre-chewed food for mold. TBF walls are all inorganic, and that's kind of the key component because it's gonna take three things for mold to live. You need the mold spore, which you can't get rid of the food source, you know, all the organic stuff, and then you need the moisture. We're taking all the organic material out of the building materials that we use. When I'm sitting down with homeowners, I actually take my Leatherman off of my hip and I start beating the wall with it. It's a very, very durable product and that's the reason why we can give you a 50 year warranty on it because short of taking a sledgehammer to it, you're gonna be good. With our Total Basement Finishing products, we give you a 10 year warranty on your floors. We always talk about things happening. Well, how many times did somebody spill red wine on the floor? Or we dropped a meatball, carpet's ruined at that point. With our flooring, we can literally rip up one or two squares. Basically everything we do is modular from the floors to the walls. It also makes your floors warmer because it actually has these little feet that it sit on and it actually keeps it up off the concrete. So you do get that little thermal break. Normally you can see anywhere between a five to a 10 degree difference. You can sit on the floor and not make it feel like you're sitting on concrete. We put Mill Creek in, it really does look like hardwood floors and you have a real hard time distinguishing the two. The big difference between the Pergo floors and ours is ours is plastic. So with Pergo, it's almost like pressed paper, really. It's like cardboard that's really, really thick and dense. If it gets wet, it's ruined. With our floors, you could literally flood the entire basement, come back a few weeks later, drain it, and then just kind of wipe it off and you move on. Most of the time, we use a drop-like ceiling. And I say drop like, not drop ceiling, because most drop ceilings are made out of spun paper. We've all seen them, whether we go into a restaurant or an office building, there's big brown stains, and you start to see them almost sag in the middle, so it very, looks very quilted up there. With our ceilings, you get a 30-year warranty, and that covers stains and the sagging. No matter what you need, our designers can accomplish it for you.